हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अखिलेश पांडे एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द फास्ट टैक रिविजन कोर्स फॉर द गेट एंड द सब्जेक्ट रनिंग इज कंट्रोल सिस्टम दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर वन एंड द टॉपिक दैट आई विल कवर इन दिस लेक्चर इज द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द टॉपिक दैट आई विल कवर योर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फीडबैक एंड इफेक्ट ऑफ फीडबैक एंड आई विल ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस सम प्रीवियस ईयर गेट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक सो लेट स्टार्ट the topic on your screen itself the transfer function so what is transfer function transfer function is basically defined as the laplace transform of the output to the laplace transform of the input that is shown here uh, means uh, what we have to find we have to find the output um, laplace transform and we have to find the input laplace transform we have we cannot do that yt upon xt will be uh, transfer function this will not happen we have to convert into s domain means we have to convert into the laplace transform then after we will have to find the laplace transform of input and then after we will divide it and we will get the overall transfer function of a system and one more thing that we have to do is that all initial conditions should be set to zero means we have to take all initial conditions as zero and then we have to determine the laplace transform and then further divide it so if there is access is the laplace transform of input ys is the laplace transform of output then the transfer function will be defined as gs equals to ys upon access here so that's all for the definition of the transfer function and for the same definition means uh, the get uh, get examiner has asked one question in the previous paper related to the same definition so let's see the question itself the transfer function of a linear system is the so just we understood uh, that the transfer function will be defined as the ratio of laplace transform of the output and the input with all initial conditions set to zero so very simple question and uh, so we solved it next come to the next topic that is feedback so feedback system feedback basically there uh, means instead of going through the theory and so many concepts that knowledge i've just uh, come to the points and the topic that is useful for the gate exam so i will be concerned with that only means to approach the uh, numerical problems that is used to be asked in the gate exam so that's why i have come with directly the formula related to negative feedback so there can be two types of feedback negative feedback and positive feedback why we call it negative because here we can see that x is in positive way and from here the feedback is coming from the output side and that is applied with a minus sign so that's why it is called negative feedback and in positive feedback we can see that here from where x is positive and the from output side we are getting the plus sign so that's why it is called positive feedback negative feedback means lowering the input signal positive feedback means increasing or maximizing the input signal means supporting the input signal so this is basic definition of negative and positive feedback now we derive the overall transfer function of a negative feedback so this x is in positive for negative feedback i am deriving first and this h y is in negative so by summing these two this is summation e equals to means the next uh, node we will get e equals to x minus h y y is multiplied with this h okay and then after this e will be multiplied with this g and then we will get the final output y so y can be written as y equals to g into e by putting this x minus h y here we can de derive the formula that is g upon 1 plus gh and similar way we can derive the formula for this positive feedback so we got the result for the negative feedback that is the transfer function will be overall transfer function will be g upon 1 plus gh where g is the forward gain and h is the feedback factor and similarly we have got the result for the positive feedback that is g upon 1 minus gh and the basic difference between these two formula is what here we are dividing with the 1 plus factor and here we are dividing 1 minus gh factor so the gain will be reduced for this one because we are multiply and dividing by a larger factor and here we are dividing by a lower factor means one minus factor so that that will increase so in positive feedback gain will increase the transfer function will increase and the for negative feedback system gain will reduce so we will later see the effect of feedback in the next slide but before that we are uh, we will first take one simple problem that has been asked in the previous gate exam related to this formula itself so the question uh, is on your screen so here we can see that uh, there are two negative feedbacks here we are getting one negative feedback this path 
and here we are getting the second negative feedback so that there are two negative feedback one feedback factor is s and the other feedback factor there is no any gain in this path so the unity negative feedback this is okay so the internal uh, part will be solved first using that formula that we have just studied g upon 1 plus g h so using this formula we will first study the uh, first solve the internal part of the system this transfer function will determine and then after putting that overall transfer function as a gain here and like this as a gain and then after taking it as unity negative feedback we will further solve the complete um system and find out the transfer function so let's start first find the uh, overall transfer function for this internal part so this is on your screen itself so the in the internal part the forward gain we just seen that uh, it is 10 upon s upon s plus 1 and the feedback factor is s of course so g upon 1 plus g s simple formula because it is negative feedback we will apply g upon 1 plus g s if it will be positive then we would have applied g upon 1 minus g s so g upon 1 plus g s then after solving we got the result finally after getting the result what we will do we will treat it as a simple forward path gain and one unity negative feedback means for this part for this part we have got the transfer function so for this part we will um, take like this the overall uh, gain overall transfer function whatever and then we will apply this unity negative feedback so let's check the slide so here we have done it this was the result that we have got just now 10 upon s into s plus 11 and uh, then after taking the unity negative feedback as equals to 1 and we will get this result so that's all about this question so this is very basic problem related to the unity negative feedback uh, transfer function so which of the option is correct so this one is correct option b now uh, transfer function is over feedback system meaning of feedback is over and now we come to the last topic that is effect of feedback so let's check the last topic effect of feedback on your slide so effect of feedback so if instead of studying effect of positive feedback uh, and effect of negative feedback we have di have directly introduced you effect of negative feedback because this is only the question asked in the get exam so effect of negative feedback what will be there gain we just introduced that uh, g upon 1 plus gh so gain will be reduced and if gain is reduced or you can say the feedback uh, factor can control the gain then in that case what will happen the system will become more stable so this has been written here that stability becomes more because of the magnitude is controlled by the feedback and gain is reduced so this is okay but there may be some cases when this gh the value of the, this gh can be minus 1 due to the value of h what we were we were taking so in that case what will happen in that case the system will become unstable so instead of being stable it may become unstable and there can be it can be some other cases as well so we must care for the value of h means the factor h what we are taking by the by taking the factor of h we can make it more stable but sometimes it can be unstable as well so uh, the value of h must be taken care of okay now one more thing that can cause instability in uh, a, uh, even after applying the negative feedback one more thing is there that can cause instability and that is the components means the transistor uh, or diodes or other semiconductor devices that we are using they are actually non linear but we um, while solving the problem or while uh, theoretically solving it we consider it it as uh, linear or we approximate it as linear and in that case we uh, get the result like uh, the system is stable but due to the non linearity of components it can be unstable as well and uh, for the same topic same concept one question has been asked in the previous gate exam and this is on your screen itself so despite the presence of the negative feedback control system still have problems of instability because so just we studied that components used have non linearities so this should be the correct option but we will check the other option as well so second option b is dynamic equations of system are not known exactly yeah it is correct but this is not much appropriate as the first one because dynamic uh, uh, equations are not known but it doesn't mean that it will it will lead to instability so it is not an appropriate answer 
नेक्स्ट द सी ऑप्शन इज मैथमेटिकली एनालिसिस इन्वॉल्व्स अप्रॉक्सीमेशन ऑफ कोर्स मैथमेटिकल एनालिसिस इन्वॉल्व्स अप्रॉक्सीमेशन बट अगेन दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर मीन्स ड्यू व्हाट इज द रीजन ऑफ इनस्टेबिलिटी दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट आंसर इन अप्रॉक्सीमेशन आर यूज इन मेनी वेज बट इट डजेंट मीन दैट इफ अप्रॉक्सीमेशन हैज बीन यूज देन इट विल लीड टू इनस्टेबिलिटी सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अ रॉन्ग ऑप्शन लास्ट ऑप्शन सिस्टम हैज लार्ज नेगेटिव फेजर एंगल एट हाई फ्रिक्वेंसीज ऑफकोर्स इट इज करेक्ट बिकॉज एट हाई फ्रिक्वेंसीज वॉट हैपन्स एट हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी मीन्स इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द नेगेटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम द डिनोमिनेटर ऑर्डर विल बी मोर एज कम्पेयर टू द न्यूमिनेटर ऑर्डर सो एट हायर फ्रिक्वेंसीज द फेज एंगल ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर विल बी हायर एंड द फेज एंगल ऑफ द न्यूमिनेटर विल बी वेरी लेस सो वेन वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट द फेज एंगल ऑफ न्यूमिनेटर टू द सब माइनस फेज एंगल ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर देन वी विल गेट द ओवरऑल फेज एंगल एंड दैट केस दैट कैन बिकम द लार्ज फेज एंगल सो दैट इज Uh, a cause of instability but more appropriate will be the first option and that is components used have non linearity so that's all uh, in this lecture and um, in next lecture we will cover some other topic thank you thank you so much for watching